On today's menu is a quick side dish that anyone can make. It looks beautiful, tastes delicious and very very easy to make. Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bumbi. Pan over medium heat and in goes a tablespoon of my homemade ghee. You can also use oil or a combination of oil and butter. Once the ghee melts, add a teaspoon of cumin seeds that is jeera. You have to allow the seeds to splutter to release their flavor in the oil. Then cauliflower enters the scene along with half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. I like adding half a teaspoon of hing that is asafoetida, but it is totally optional. You can also use finely chopped garlic in place of hing. Stir on medium high heat and then season the cauliflower with half a teaspoon of salt. Notice how I have chopped the cauliflower into tiny little florets and you need to do the same. Next I added just a splash of water. Then cover on and keep it on medium heat for 5 minutes. In the meantime I will be crushing a teaspoon of black peppercorns. Please use freshly cracked black pepper for this recipe. We are looking for this kind of a situation. 5 minutes done. Lid off. In goes the beautiful green broccoli along with another half a teaspoon of salt to season the broccoli. Always add the broccoli later like this as broccoli gets tender faster than cauliflower. If you add them both together then by the time the cauliflower gets tender the broccoli will turn all mushy dashy with speckles of green florid strewn all around making the whole dish look unappealing and disappointing. Ok again cover on medium heat for 3 minutes. After 3 minutes in goes about a fourth of a cup of frozen green peas. Next comes a very interesting ingredient that is gram flour which is also known as besan. It absorbs whatever remnant moisture is there in the pan and gives a slightly nutty flavor. If you do not have besan in your pantry then no worries. It tastes good even without it. Just trust me. I also added a teaspoon of ground coriander and then cover on again on medium low heat for 3 more minutes. After 3 minutes my cauliflower and broccoli have turned tender. If you see your cauliflower and broccoli haven't turned tender then cover on again and give it some more minutes. But please see to it that it doesn't turn mushy and my friends please do not stir happily too much with your spoon because you want the florets to stay intact and beautiful. Then from the crushed black pepper I use just one heaped teaspoon. Save the rest for adding in any other recipe. Finally a sprinkle of lemon juice for that freshness. My friends please help me by sharing these videos and please leave a comment because your comments inspire me to bring more recipes for you and your likes make me feel happy. Bye bye.